Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today we're going over Chrome's AI Writing Assistant. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're interested in Chrome's experimental Gemini-powered in-browser AI Writing Assistant, then yes. Questions answered in this video. Chrome's Help Me Write feature, what is it and how does it work? We'll also go over some examples and we'll end with the most important question, why should you care? Let's jump right in. So what is Chrome's Help Me Write feature? Google has just exported the Gmail Help Me Write function, uh, also available in Google Docs. Videos linked down below on those features. Uh, they've, Google has exported it to the Chrome browser. So Gemini can now write for you in browser, can provide assistance or contextually relevant assistance in browser. So it knows where you're at, it knows the question you're answer, answering, asking, and gives you text based on that relevance. But enough of me trying to explain it, let's turn it on and use it. So we are in, again, a new tab here. I'm gonna click the more or the three dots menu and to, to get to Chrome's settings menu. Uh, you can also get here with the Alt F button like that. Or if you have a shortcut, you can click on that too. All right, so here we are in settings. You may see it on the left-hand side. You may not see it. It just depends. <laughs> but if you go to the search menu and you type AI and this will pop up. Or, again, not searching for anything. If you see it on the left-hand side, you can click on Experimental AI right here. And the top lever, if you turn that on, it'll turn all of these on, or you can turn each of them on individually. But Help Me Write is right here. There's also a tab organizer and create themes with AI. I don't use either of them, so I'm not going to explain them. Uh, but Help Me Write. So let's jump in to some examples of how this contextually aware AI entity can help you write in browser. First example, or first two examples, social media platforms. So we've got this smart person here asking questions about their goals for three days and how they're going to be efficient. <laughs> so we can go ahead and click here. We're gonna respond, but we don't wanna write it ourselves. We wanna let Google's Help Me Write do that for us. So we're gonna right click here and you'll see the Help Me Write option has shown up. Now, of course, after you've turned it on, you'll want to refresh or relaunch your browser for this to show up. But here it is. Help me write. So what does it say here? You can enter things like a few words that sum up your thoughts, a first draft, or reply yes to this wedding invite with excitement. Uh, instead of doing that, we're going to go ahead and offer this guidance provide specific, helpful, and witty feedback on this person's plan. And then hopefully we get an answer. Um, sometimes we don't, we don't get great answers. I like your plan, it's ambitious, but I think it's doable. I especially like the spin class at 4.30 a.m. It's a great way to start the day. Nice job. Your mileage may vary with, with the way this thing responds. I'm just gonna be upfront. Sometimes it's great, every now and then it's terrible. <laughs> so here, this one went well. Uh, you can see here length, shorten, elaborate. So we're going to head going. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to elaborate uh, for our viewing pleasure here. And you can see here it's gone ahead and done that. Tone. So I'm going to change it to formal. See what happens. I appreciate. <laughs> it's more formal, as you'd expect. And you can do retry. All the things you've seen in Gmail or Docs, if you've used this at all, and all happening right here. This was pretty good. I'm very pleased with the results that I got for this video. <laughs> Again, your mileage may vary depending on where you are at. So let's try, and I, of course, I could insert. There we go, I could hit comment, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's jump over to the Twitters. Uh, Ethan Malik, a professor I source often in my videos, has asked a question here on Twitter, and I would like help me write to provide a answer or a response. Uh, so let's see here. I'm going to say provide a collegiate level response followed by an insightful question. Wow. I think the lawsuits over AI training data are unlikely to halt AI development or even slow it much. 
There are several reasons for this. First, many blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can see it's done a great job here. And then of course, just like before, we can shorten or lengthen and we can change the tone or we can regenerate a response and it's just that easy. So there's how Help Me Write could help you write on social media. Be more engaging. One more example. Well, one of a few more examples. So if I right click, okay, where am I? I'm on Google Maps and I'm about to complete a review. Uh, have you ever just left a restaurant and you wanted to write a review, but you just didn't have the, I don't know, two minutes to, <laughs> to thumb out the response? Well, now all you gotta do is help me write. And then I've got an example here where I've just told it to write an effusive five sentence hipster-ish five-star review, great haircuts. And let's see what Help Me Write generates for us. I'm a huge fan of Goodfellas, blah, 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 blah. And so I can tweak this if I want to, I could insert, I could hit post, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. This is just an example for you to watch or enjoy or think about. A few more examples. So forms and surveys, another place you could use this. I do wanna highlight, so let's first do this here. Uh, this is this is a quiz. Uh, what is the look? Let me pause. This form here represents forms and surveys. So that's another place you could use this, but I'm not going to provide an example. Another place you could use this would be on quizzes, and that would probably be ethically questionable. But maybe there are quizzes that it's okay to have AI helping you. In that instance, then I would like you to watch this example. Otherwise, don't cheat. All right, here we are. So right click and help me write, and I'm gonna ask it to simply answer this question. This is where I get hit and miss sometimes, we'll see. The largest mammal on earth is the blue whale. Nice job. What I wanna highlight next, this form knows, or help me write knows, that this next answer right here, in Google Forms you have the opportunity for a paragraph response or a short response. In the paragraph response field, the help me write option appears. In the short answer field, it does not appear. So this may affect the way this thing works on other forms. Just wanted to highlight this nuance or weirdism. In any event, I think it's trying to help you out with the way it operates here, but anyways, for what it's worth. Uh, finally, this question represents, let's say you are filling out a, an online job application and they're asking you a question. So another example of how you might use it. What are you looking for in your next role? Tell us about your dream job. How would you spend your time? What kind of work and projects would you be working on? So right here, help me write. And I'm gonna go ahead and So first I've told it, this is a job application question, tailor the answer accordingly. Then I've given it some more information. Answer using this information. Make one video a week, make $1 million a year, and surf every day before noon. Uh, dream job answer, let's see how it does. I'm looking for a job that will let me make $1 million a year while working from home. I'd like to make one video a week and surf every day before noon. It's done a great job, it just didn't really tailor this to the job application question. So if I delete this surfing funniness, let's see how it does. I'm looking for a position that will allow me to use my skills and experiences to make a significant, not a bad job. And of course I can elaborate, I can make it more formal, all the things that I've showed you previously. These, or thus concludes uh, the examples that I came up with for Google's or Chrome's new help me write function. Um, but as I said in the beginning, talk about why should you care or why should you use Chrome's help me write? It's mildly helpful. <laughs> That's the best I got. Uh, maybe not an everyday carry, but definitely worth adding to your efficiency toolkit. Use it to craft a helpful answer on Reddit, a witty retort on Twitter, or a kind filtered response to the angry Facebook political posts of a certain family member. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you for watching. If you have better use cases, or if I've inspired you, please let me know, comments down below. Don't forget, lots of link goodness below, other videos, things that I mentioned. 
Please like, subscribe, share this with somebody that might enjoy it. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.